taking seven, eight feet a whole hour. Last three hours, only a couple inches. Add another 5,000 pounds to the bit, and up the RPMs by 25. Ah! Shift change. What? Hey, what's with the sound effects, man? I had a dream. That's what Martin Luther King said. I had a dream. Only this ain't it. Come on. Come on. Get up. Mark. Oh. Oh, something bad's gonna happen. Something bad. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be busting our backs for the glory of old Zortron oil. I dreamt. I dreamt that we were all gonna die. An hour at a time. Like always. Shift change. Let's roll it. Come on, Phil. Okay. Five straight days. We're almost 19,000 feet into the ocean floor. No, so not a trace of oil jail in the cutting. I know it. Every rig I ever worked on, too, pushes demand. This one's some company geologist nobody ever sees as demand. What's bugging you? Kid Phil. He dreamed we're all gonna die. Brother, you're a pro. You've been around. Some kid scarfs down too much chowder for sack time and has a bad dream. You gonna freak out on me? Listen, Jake, I sneaked into the office and checked the registry. Zortron 101 is listed laid off for repairs off Valparaiso, Chile. Well, if Zortron 101 is laid up for repairs, what are we on? Hey, Jake, the mud pressure's dropping. Get the pressure in the pits. Be ready for an emergency. Depth 19037, organic contact negative, specimen estimate. Come in. Oh, Jake, just coming topside. When do we continue drilling? Maybe never. <laughs> Don't joke. I panic easily. A joke. I got two more men down. Oh, we've had some bad luck. The luck has nothing to do with it. When people get tired, they make mistakes. No, that's no problem. Look, man, we have replacements arriving tomorrow from the Falkland base. But in the meantime, you're going to have to keep pushing. Been pushing. Pushing the men, then pushing the tools. That's why the accidents. Tell me something. Who 
the hell are you anyway? Two days on the job, helicopter comes out, lands you on the rig with a paper saying the company geologist has authority over tool pusher. Hey, I've been tool pusher 10 years now. That's never happened to me. Technicality. We're a team. Great team. Making hole where nobody else ever thought to put down a rig. Look, Jake, we're into the 1980s. There's no such thing as easy oil anymore. You have to take a look at the places you didn't want to tackle before. On a rig that ain't even supposed to be here? I mean, it's in the book. 101's supposed to be down for repairs off Valparaiso. That's 2,400 miles from here. Well, oil business is changing. Oil is scarce and paranoia comes naturally in this business. Yeah, well, the false registration of a rig just doesn't wash with me. All right. The company believes there is enough geological evidence to drill at extreme depths. And there's a lot of oil, man. A lot. Now, what I know you know, and nobody else, that's including the competition. You understand? Look, Jake, you're a tool pusher. You decide when we resume drilling. All right? Okay for now. Yeah. You need anything? No, I'm okay. Just want to see if everybody was all right. Yeah, everyone's going to be fine. I feel cold. I'm going to go have a shower. You're not doing my patients any good, Robin. remembering that little sister and you're going to do just fine. On the other hand, he is kind of cute. Colette Boudreau says here you're my new crane operator. Crane operator, driller, whatever you want to pay me for. One of those casualties used to double as my radio operator. You uh, tell me you can operate a K-104 and I'll believe in Santa Claus again. I know the 104. <laughs> I think you'll look great. Not necessarily. Ouch. The last rig I worked on some people got the wrong idea. I just want to do my job and keep my own company. Well, this is my rig. You won't have any problems here. Wilma, you want to show Ms. Boudreau to her quarters? Look 
at those teeth. Even the bearings are gone. Whatever's down there must be harder than your head. Hey, Jake, I bet you never seen anything like this, huh? You got that right. Let's see what that diamond bit we just tripped in will do. 19792. to go down past 20,000 feet. What are we looking for that deep? Maybe the devil. Raise the bit about three feet. Mark, circulate a sample to the surface. Go ahead. Wilma. Shock. He's dead. Just like. send a boat or a chopper. I'm not going to put this boy in the sea. Take him below. We still got hold of me. All right, everybody, back to work. You too, babe. Hey, come on, sweetheart, you got to. I only got one of you. like he dreamed the other night. That he was going to die? That we all are.
hope I never see anyone like this again. You know, it happens to everybody. Not like that. Does it make a difference? Maybe not to you. I mean, you're my friend, Sam, but let's face it, you're older than baseball. There's nothing you ain't seen. But Phil... Wasn't much younger than you are. Well, cheer up, son. God's take it is quota of young men from this crew. Let's drink a toast. Well, what's there to celebrate? That our buddy's dead? That we're alive. I want to see all the cuttings down in the lab, everything. Barry? Yeah? Get the shaker for more cuttings. Hey, wait a minute. What if, what if there's something else in there? Hey, hold on. Uh, Scott. Good sample, isn't it? That thing that was in the shaker. Sea lamp ray of some sort. Probably injected a nerve poison. Like a Portuguese man of war. Uh-huh. At this water depth, there are things at that bottom no one's ever seen, Jake. Yeah, but how to get in the shaker? You tell me. Water pump? George on 101 to Falkland Base, come in. Over. I can't raise base. How come? I don't know. It's not the set. Maybe problems on the other end? No. Watch. Something's obstructing the signal here, keeping it from getting out. Like a shield around the platform. Can't be a freak electrical storm. I mean, we're too close to the South Pole. Yeah. You uh, sure you know how to operate that thing? You want to do it? Think I can't? No. Well, no matter. You're right anyway. You were uh, right today too when you killed that thing. I owe you. Yeah, I don't even know if I killed whatever it was. Try an open channel. Says here, don't use open frequency. Just words. Run it. Roger. Zortron 101 to all points. Come in. Over. Zortron 101 to all points. Come in. Over. Zortron 101 to all points. Come in. Over. Interference. Use all over the band. We're cut off. Here we are. Yeah, come on in. Nah, I think you had a little trouble. Sam. Yeah, these heat lamps aren't working. Uh, take a look at it. We'll see what you can do. Check the fuse box? No. Take a look at that. Yeah, that's what it is. You got a bad fuse. That does it. Oh. Sam, what's happened? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll pick them up. No, don't take them!
base on the radio. Or anywhere else for that matter. We're cut off. I can't even send a distress signal. If we had a blowout and sank, nobody would know about it for weeks. Now, wait a minute. It's against regulations to transmit on open bands. Why? I told you, Zortron wants to keep this drill site a secret. Zortron, don't you understand what I'm telling you? I violated your open band order. No result. We're cut off. Now, what'd you do to that radio? Jay, come on. A little paranoia and moderation. It's okay. I'll buy it. Now, yours is getting way out of hand, man. I'm a geologist. All I know about radio is that it, it's older than TV. Look, Scotty. I got a panicked crew. I got a radio that someone or something is interfering with. I got a dead man on board. And the supply ship doesn't get here for a week, huh? Do what you have to do. Take our friend, Philip Gillard, and hold him to your heart, and love him. Sure didn't have much time to get loved here on Earth. He was a roughneck, and we were his friends. We liked him, and we'll miss him. So you, you take good care of him, my Lord, until we all meet again. Especially one as young as Phil. You've never seen that before, had you? No. Sorry. Sorry you had to see it at all. What you said over his body was nice.
is it? Chili? Chili, come on, quit horsing around. I'm not in the mood. Oh, Sam. Sam, what are you doing up here? Why? Sam, are you okay? What? <laughs> my eyes. Sam, we've all been working real hard. Why don't you go downstairs and see Wilma and maybe she'll give you something. Okay, Sam? get lonely out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it gets lonely. And Wilma and Robin, you don't crowd them either? <sighs> they do their job, I do mine. You don't work 24 hours a day. Well, we've got a bunch of men on the rig. Two women, three now. you got to remember what you're here for. You like to set a good example. Well, if the boss forgets, it's bad for everybody. You're kind of big on a sense of duty. Mm -hmm. Do you do everything out of the sense of duty? Not everything. Why'd you ask me about the women? I wasn't hitting on you, if that's what you mean. <laughs> You're right to the point, don't you? Usually. <laughs> it's a bit cold. Not the worst thing than cold. Like what? Just take my word for it. The worst things than cold. Hey. Hey, what? <clears throat> What's wrong with you, Sam? <clears throat>
Day 59. Under extreme temperature, carapace is cracked, revealing withered, idiomorphic life form. Hypothesis. Live birth, unable to withstand high heat. Incubating temperature impossible to control. Origin of life form, unknown. Rate of growth, unknown. Life and remaining carapaces, unknown. Accidental contact with carapace by crew member day previous. Disorientation. Hallucination leading to suicide. Explore possibility carapace might have emitted toxic substance as defense mechanism in early stage of growth. Problem. If organism is threat to human life, The 
decision. Preserve remaining cuttings. Observe developing organisms carefully. First step, remove from heat. Place in temperature control box. And secure against accidental human contact. Prime sirloin. Have some mashed potatoes. The gravy's real good. Have some salt. Pass the hot sauce. Good looking steak. Come on, try the mashed potatoes. I mean, Wilma made a real mean red gravy. I don't believe this. We just lost Sam, and you dudes are talking like we're at some kind of banquet. Now, take it easy. You take it easy! This ain't an oil rig, it's a floating graveyard. Now, who's next, Jake? That's what I want to know. Look, we're all under the gun, Chili. I'm just as dumpy as you are. Now, what can Jake do? What can anybody do? Get us out of here! There ain't no oil here, there's death here. We're not on the Queen Elizabeth. We can't just jack down and sail off the base. We're going to wait for the supply ship. We're going to sit and wait. Oh, you think any of us are going to be here to see the supply ship? Something's wrong. We don't know what it is, but Jake does. And so do you, schoolboy. Now, you tell me why Sam's dead, hmm? Could have been anything. Epileptic seizure, stroke. No. No! This rig is doomed. It's going to kill all of us. Out of your head, that's all. 
Weren't they your friends? Friends die? Or go away one way or the other? You can't bleed for them 24 hours a day. Besides, sometimes you make new friends. Saved from a fate worse than death. It's not bad, it's a... Uh... Real nice. Yeah, but there's another one nicer at home, right? A long way from home. Me on. I want to see if you're listening. That's good. It's very good. You're listening. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Why hasn't some hungry young woman pinned you down? Or has one? Once. It wasn't a terrific experience. Seemed like a good idea at the time, but, you know, this business, um, being away so much, not really good for a marriage. So I did my duty. I uh, never missed an insurance premium. I uh, made all my mortgage payments on time. And while I was playing it straight, she was playing around. Ten kids? Two, boy and a girl. Boy was a lot like me. Did his duty as he saw fit. When Vietnam came along, he didn't run. He enlisted. He didn't come back. And the girl? Oh, well. <clears throat> now you're talking about the joy of my life. What a bubble. When oh, she's a kid, she's into everything. I mean, softball, horses, ice skating, dancing. She's, uh, she's an Indian now with a guru. Uh, looking for the enlightened way.
some man pin you down? At once, for about 15 minutes. I was very young, and my mother didn't want to let the richest boy in town escape. What did the rich boy do? He beat me. A lot. So you left him? No, I shot him. Oh, don't worry, I'm not a fugitive from justice. I was very 16. And so they said it was mitigating circumstances and I should just get out of town and not come back, which I did. That's been fine. Good omelet. Glad you like it. is terrible. Huh. I need the doctor. Yeah. Just do the best you can, babe. Huh. How did he get these wounds? There was an accident in the lab. Harry? Uh, I don't know. Harry. Get him off me! Get him off me! Hold him! Get him off me! Get him off me! Get him off me! It's all right, Harry. It's all right. It's all right. You're with friends. Things, things inside me. Is he poisoned? There's no sign, but I'll take a blood test uh, to make sure. Uh, uh, Take a little bit of stuff, Harry. Uh, uh, Harry. Uh, uh, I need a little help, Harry. Just open and close your fist. That's right. It's not giving up much blood. I guess I got enough here to see if there's any infection building. Between the phenobarb and the shock, he should be out quite a while. I'll keep my eye on him until I'm sure he's okay. Resting. Wilma, let's keep this incident among ourselves. Do you understand? No, I'm not sure I do. Well, we've had more than our share of bad luck. I just don't want people getting excited or worried if they don't need to. Just trust me, okay? report in a couple hours. Sure. Trust me. You gotta be kidding. It's all right, Jake. Harry's gonna be fine. The creature's dead. You killed him. What did we kill? You want to hear a story that no one else has ever heard? Except a handful of Zortron executives? Fairy tale? You decide.
Once upon a time, 14 million years ago, man's earliest ancestor, a primitive warlike ape, appears on planet Earth. He triumphs over every other creature, and then, mysteriously, he disappears. Apes are a little out of our line. We're here for oil, remember? Well, what is oil except something that was once alive, Jake? Okay, so we uh, find your ape, we find the oil, huh? Possibly, but there's more. What caused him to disappear? Whoever or whatever destroyed the apes without a trace, can't you see, must have been incredibly fierce, powerful. All creatures would have fled in fear of it. Well, why aren't there any fossilized remains of this powerful thing? Suppose there was a catastrophe. Let's take the biblical flood. The land it terrorized had broken off from the rest of the continent during the flood and now rests along with this creature thousands of feet beneath the ocean floor. Well, that's beneath us. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Yeah, fantastic, but possible. A strange, unknown creature. So powerful, it lies dormant for centuries, surviving for one purpose. To someday return and rule this land just as it did before. It's a little hard to swallow. What do you need, Jake? More facts? Take a look at the evidence. Look at it. That was not a sea lamprey that attacked Phil. That thing was a nest watcher. A guardian. It, it sensed danger to the eggs. So it killed. An embryo that just hatched here nearly killed Harry. An embryo, not even a fully formed creature. No, no, no. I mean, if you're uh, right, then you knew him. I mean, you knew all along. <laughs> this is just my theory, Jake. A hope. Hope? Two men dead. Everybody else here in danger? Well, on a hope? I mean, so, for, for what? So, so you could win some damn prize? Or, or, or find uh, oil for Zortron? I was wrong. Evolution buried these creatures. I should have left them undisturbed. And now none of us will ever know what this thing does look like fully grown. But I, I gave it its chance. Call it. of that. It's dead. We killed them to protect ourselves. They were just protecting themselves from us. And we won. Shut up! Oh yeah, kill it! Then kill me! Don't! There's been enough violence. Please.
happened to you? putting them through school. One's learning to be a nurse, that's Lucy, uh -huh. and Jennifer, the youngest, is learning about computers. Oh, really bright, huh? Mm-hmm. And you're on the short end. Oh, I don't look at it that way. I didn't think you were. Oh, my bracelet, I must have dropped it again. It's probably on the deck. Hey, wait, I'll go get it for you. Why should you? I'm the one that dropped it. Hey, I don't have a chance to be a gentleman much on this rig. Relax, I'm going to show you how to make the best apple pie you ever ate from dried apples. I can't wait.
dream. A nightmare about that thing coming back. Well, that's all over now. What if it isn't? Well, we were together. You helped me destroy the darn things. Yes, but what if that wasn't the end of it? Jake, you were there. You heard what Scott said. We're dealing with the unknown. This is a creature that has survived for millions of years lying dormant beneath the sea. And the moment that we freed it, it started its evolution. It started to grow. I mean, it's already killed one man. Who knows what power it has? Nightmare, you were asleep. Yeah, but I'm awake now. Help me. Okay. Tell me about your dream. Well, the creature was going through a metamorphosis. It was constantly changing. I mean, what if it's still alive now, somewhere, somehow, in, in another shape? It was in the form of a carapace when it, when it poisoned Sam and made him go insane. And then it was another advanced form when it wounded Har Harry. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what. We'll go see Harry. Come on. Wilma. No, why? She went topside ten minutes ago and well, Harry's gone to it. Hey. Wilma.
I'm scared. Why, what's scared? What happened to Sam and Harry has happened to me. I was with Harry. He came into the mess hall. And he forced me. You saw him, it wasn't Harry. Keep an eye on her. I'll stay with her. Good. This rig's a Jonah. It always was. You know yourself for trapped here. No, we're not trapped. Supply boat's coming tomorrow, and in the meantime, there's no danger. No danger? Four people dead, and who knows who's next? Eddie, whatever killed Sam and Harry, it came from those cuttings we got up from 20,000 feet. Some poison had gotten in the nervous system. That's over. We'll take no chances. We'll plug the hole. You know, the worst thing we can do is let our imaginations run away. I mean, you're all pros. You know panic kills. So stick together. Somebody gets sick, report it. Tomorrow we go home, we get off this thing. That sounds good, eh? This is an oil rig. We don't stop drilling. It's an oil rig, but we're through drilling. <laughs> You're a good public speaker. You almost had me convinced. I just told him the truth. All of it. Come on, brother. Give me some slack, will you? Get some rest. It isn't over. Harry's dead. Robin isn't. circumstances. Uh, 
Hmm? Actually, I'm not very hungry. Actually, I'm not either. Huh. But I'm glad you came. Me too. I didn't want to be alone. Me neither. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just a dream. I'm sorry I scared you. How are you feeling? Fine. Fine. Uh, how long was I out? Ooh, around the watch and then some. It's <laughs> dark duck on my pay. Don't you worry about that. Uh, Chili, uh, would you mind getting me something to drink? I'm kind of... Thirsty. You got it. You should eat something, too. Sandwich? Yeah, great, a sandwich. You got it. Okay. You sure you're okay? Kept the butter in the fridge if it
Jake! No, no, hop, hop, hop out! Get the flare gun! 